Alright guys, we're going 25 and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Gateway to Glimmer. In the last part we did Zephyr and we got a bit confused with the uh, recording because I lost some footage. So you probably wonder why I'm back at Summer Forest. Well, I looked back at my guidebook and I've found out that I've got a few more missions to do. Some I missed before. I, I, need, I couldn't do them before, so now I'm going to go back and do them. Alright, welcome to Iden Springs again. No. Spiral, no. I'm not talking to you. Alright, welcome back to Idle Springs. You may remember this pond. Well, I didn't go in here. Because I went in here before I learned to swim. Which you shouldn't do, by the way. Uh, you should learn to swim as soon as you get 500 gems, because then... Yeah... Oh, it's faster than one. Ah, oh, no. Now I'm in the future. Alright, so what you want to do is go down here. Oh, and there is. You remember this place? Yeah, this is where I kind of glitched it and went in. There's a few challenges here. This, this thing, this puzzle confused me so often, but it's unreal how simple it is, really. You just have to press. Simple. Just do the corners. Wow, Spyro, you did it! I mean, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Yeah. This... I'm getting ahead of myself here. Basically, you jump on the corners, and then you do it. Simple. Really simple. It looks hard, and I got confused when I was a kid when I did it. But, in reality, it's pretty simple. Now, he said to meet us near the pond, so we're up here. He magically teleports, because, you know, they do that in the game. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. I mean, the fact he's got a stomach at all is actually quite uh, insane. This mission is annoying. You have to get the colours right. If you get a red one, he will spit them all out again. So if you leave it too early, if you leave it too late rather, they won't do it. There's a way to tell. Ah, I hate it. This challenge is annoying. If it's red, remember. Like that one. That, that was. It didn't even have an eye. That was creepy. Okay. Don't flame until you're completely sure. Oh, I could have got that one. Nope. Nope. I threw you a lot of reds. Could have got that blue one. Ah, this is the best way to fish. Just... Eh. Yes. All of it. I think it's randomised, by the way. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. <coughs> Could have got that one. Usually I go for the orange ones because they they stand out. And that's that, done. Okay, Spyro, just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the college stones for your final challenge. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm kinda oh, oops. I have to go go I have to go for all the level again, so I might just uh, skip ahead. Okay, I am back. We are at the third challenge now. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. This is really... Okay, this is simple. Um, simple puzzle, really. You see that they are different shapes, and they've got different shapes on them. So, this is a square star. So, we need to have a star next. 
Oh, wait, no. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, no, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh, eh. Uh, we need a we need a square. But I yeah. Now we need a star. And now we need a the that one. Yes. Now we need a diamond, which is none of them. Oh. Oh, that one. No. What? I used to, have to know this. This is really easy. No. Oh, I. I. I thought. I, I thought I was good at this. Apparently, I. I don't know anything. That one. That one. And then that one. I guess there is. I guess it's just a set order. It doesn't really mean anything. Oh. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. All I What's that supposed to mean? Shiny thing I found in our toolbox. I'll, I'll give you a This place isn't completed yet. Shit, I got some more gems to collect. Ooh, yay. How many gems do we actually need? 99. Oh, man. No, we're missing a fair few. Oh, they're all underwater. Awesome. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad at all. I promise you, once we've um, we've done a few levels and we've gone back in order, we'll you know it'll be a bit it'll be less confusing for you. Still haven't even completed um, Colossus has got the. Uh, I'll do that later. I hate that hockey thing. Sunny beach. Oh yeah. All right. We're going back to Autumn Plains for now. Get some more gems and get some more orbs. I think you can get the ones from the from the actual world. Let's explore the world a bit more. We haven't really looked into Autumn Plains that much. <coughs> I apologise for my low voice and subpar commentary. It's late, alright. Uh, well, there's a way to get up here, but this is ah, oh, come the hell on! Why can't I do that anymore? Like it's like I've it's like I've lost all ability to do something. There we go. And we go over here, all the way across this wall. By the way, this isn't a glitch. I haven't just. Just glitch the game. There is actually something legit up here. In the way, you, you, so the way you get on this is you fly, pretty much. There's two gems. That's it, really. Nope. There's a wall. Charge it. Orb. Twenty-three orbs. Nice. That's like a secret orb. It took me a long time to get that when I was a kid. I remember losing it. I don't know where it was. I had to look at a walkthrough to figure it all out. There's, you, there's gems on that thing, but that requires something else. We need to. Oh yeah, and um, if you good, you can go to the speedway without activating it using the glitch. So let's not go. I'm, I'm gonna go in, in, in any levels yet. I'm just going to explore summer play, autumn plains for a bit. There's a there's quite a few gems to get and there's quite a lot of orbs so might as well get them and there's no enemies so it's kind of easy. Oh, oh, oh! Get out of here! Oh, ladders, ladders in games, guys. My biggest bane, oh, bane of my life. Ladders, I hate them. Oh, there's a one up. So we've passed three levels so far. Oh, 
Spyro, hello. I was just having trouble with this door, and I think some orb power might unstick it. I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Use eight orbs. Eight! If you don't have eight by the time you reach Awesome Plains, you're really bad at this game. Sorry. You are. <laughs> I've got like 20. I've got 23, so I've got well enough. Okay, now we've unlocked more, most of the castle. Oh, it's you again. No, you go away. You can take my gems when I've got more of them. And this is where... I'll talk to her. Hi, Spyro. Ripto and Gulp are hiding out in a room in the castle below us. You'll need all 14 talismen in order to break the lock and get to them. Yep. So we only got, um... I think about five more to go. Talismans. And then we've done it. Oh, uh, money bags is there, and money bags is over here. He just teleports where he pleases all the time. Uh, we might as well unlock it. I can let yeah, yeah, this is access to a level. You need to do this, unfortunately. <sighs> and we might as well just unlock the other one as well. You're sitting, you're round gems. You're literally next to a basket and you don't pick it up for your collection. I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spider. Huh? Love to. Unfortunately, the speedway rules require yeah, yeah. to charge. This is. Oh, there's two speedways in Awesome Plains. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that's gonna make me want to kill someone. Go all the way back here. We missed something. Oh, I've missed something again. Uh, there is a cracked wall. Around here. There it is. Charge it. Charge it. Gems. And this is like a secret. Look at that little secret um, area. Where all the rest of the gems are. Took me absolutely ages to find this as a kid, embarrassingly. I think this might be the, my favourite world because it's like. Because in comparison to like Summer Forest, Summer Forest was really small. Well, it wasn't, but compared to this, is quite cool. You, you can go on top of the, the castle and you can hear the wind blow. Ah, good. You know, I actually forgot to actually mention this, but um, Spyro was one of the first 3D games that didn't use fog. You know how uh, in in like the uh, really old and like let's say that they were quite um, new. new like, ugh, I can't speak. Sorry. Um, you know when 3D was a thing, like they first came along, uh, they had to use fog to make the level. Uh, render better because if they just had it all all at the same time all of it, it would make the game like frame rates drop and stuff so they had like fog Spyro was one of the first games I think to not use fog in an open world this game's like crash where it then didn't, didn't need it because it wasn't like it because this is like an open world and crash was like linear pretty impressive when you think about it at the time, this is like this is like in the 90s and this game loads quite a lot in the background. It's really impressive. It was quite ahead of its time, Spyro was. Especially the, oh, the, the I mean the first one was good, but then Spyro 2 and 3 kind of just like made it even better. I don't know where I'm even going, you know. Uh, what was I meant to do? Did I get... Yeah, I go to the guidebook again, sorry. <clears throat> 99. Oh, you dick. Oh, I missed a few gems. Uh, not good. Keep pointing to them. Are oh, they in here? Oh, there are. Oh, there are. Yay! Okay, awesome planes completed. Awesome. Ah, I love that tune. You've beaten the game. Oh god, steps. These steps are huge! Jeez, you have to literally jump up them. 
Hey, I want to get up there. And thank God there was only fall damage. Okay, we've spent enough time in Autumn Plains now. Let's go to Breeze Harbor. Ugh.